sweetie pie and welcome back to shop my stash today we are going to just really quickly as always with my shop my stashes we are going to talk about some of the stuff that I used last week and if you've never seen one of my shop my stashes usually I will talk about the products I used last week and then I will go right into the products I am picking for this week I will bring you into my collection bring you up to my makeup desk and pick things out right there and then on the spot. Today I had my husband in the room while I was filming so if I'm a little bit odd uh, that's just it. And also I also did the right hand challenge with this makeup you see here and I'm also going to do a five looks one or five palettes one look uh, dedicated to Nikki tutorials this week. She lost her brother a week ago and I I was so so devastated for her. You, you losing a family member is something that you will never forget and being your brother I all my wishes and hopes go out to her and in her time of grieving and I wanted to do a five palettes one look commemorating her and you know wishing her well while she is you know grieving it's, it's not an easy thing anyway guys so today we're doing shot my stash if you guys want to see the eye look I create make sure you subscribe because I will be doing um, the this week, it will be up this week, probably mm, pretty much right after Shot My Stash. It should be maybe like the third video I upload next week. So yeah, or this week coming. Goodness gracious, I got myself all in a dither. Anyway, if you do not want to watch last week and, you know, all the updates and whatever on the products, I'm going to put a timestamp right here, and you guys can just go to that, and that will be this week's Shot My Stash. So, anyway. Let's get into last week. So yeah, guys, last week I had a kabobble of products. Now, the two new things that I have to talk about, it's been a bit since I bought something new, are the Wet n Wild Baked Blushes. These are their limited edition ones. They are in Don't Flutter Yourself and they are in Hummingbird Hype. I'm kept keeping these in because I want to use these. Um, I probably won't do a review on them, but if you come back next week, you can kind of get my thoughts. I also used the Fenty foundation last week and it was awesome. I love how full coverage this foundation is. I'm wearing it today and yeah, I just, I love it. Now, I put in these magnetic eyelashes because I want to do a video where I try and wear these for a solid week, trying them on every day, trying to get them to work, but I just haven't committed to a week yet. So I'm going to keep these in here because I do want to try them out because so many people have made videos in the past about, you know, how they don't work and I want to see if I can actually get them to work. And these aren't even like originals. These I got from a store called Showcase that is in Canada and it sells like lots of as seen on TV, as seen on, like as seen on YouTube, like lots of that kind of stuff. So yeah, anyway, I want to do that. Um, the next thing that I had all week is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This is a nice palette. Does it inspire me? No, it just doesn't. I love the smell and like some of the colors are really beautiful, but like as most people know, it's a neutral palette. The palettes I have this week though, I am so freaking excited about. I can't help it. I'm just not into neutrals right now. I can pull this out when I'm going to my grandma's or something like that, but I just, I'm really into colorful eye looks right now. Anyway, uh, the next thing that I had in here was the Urban Decay Jean-Michel Basquiat. I love this. I love the blushes, and I found out that mixing the two blushes actually looks really beautiful as well. The bronzer is warm. It is a warm bronzer, but I, I just... The powders are so pretty. The highlight is beautiful. Like, that's a bad swatch. The highlight is absolutely beautiful. I love this. I am actually um, selling the Jean-Michel Basquiat palette, the colorful one. I have a ad on Kijiji Canada, but I also am going to do an Instagram post. Oh, did I already do one? I think I already did an Instagram post about it. So you can go and check out my Instagram if you are into some lightly used palettes. I'm just trying to clean up my collection a little bit. Anyways, 
The next thing was this, and this is the BH Cosmetics Solar Flare Palette. I put this in my collection because I was really thinking about getting the new BH Cosmetics palette that they just brought out. I can't remember what it's called. Um, and I did notice, I do like these, but I don't know if it's just because a lot of them are neutrals. Um, I did use the pinks and I did use Spectrum to highlight, which I thought was really cool last week. But I don't know. I don't know if these are my favorite shadows from Gage Cosmetics. I really do love a lot of their shadows, but this palette might not be my absolute favorite anymore because I've tried so many. I also used my little single. I was so proud of myself. I used the Mariposa Eyeshadow Single. Um, these are amazing and you can find them at the Dollar Tree. I've yet to do a video on them. I've done a couple Instagram posts about them. They're $1.25. They're beautiful. Anyway, guys, I think that's really all in it. I did use the Essence Make Me Glow Highlighter. It's nice. I don't like it over top of my foundation. I like it more underneath. And again, NYX Dewy Skin Mist, so beautiful on the skin. I use it every day and I've loved it. Also, the uh, CoverGirl Lid Lockup, I think it's awesome. Like, honestly, I think I need to do like a small products, like new at the drugstore, but not like a full collection because I've got like the Wet n Mild blushes and I've got the CoverGirl and I've got the NYX that I got and there's a few other like newer things that I got. Maybe I'll just do a comprehensive video on it. We'll see. Anyway, guys, I think that is all for Shop My Stash this week. Um, I don't really have that much else to talk about. As for, like, older products, I did use the Wet n Wild Concealer as well. I do love this. I'm wearing it today, and it looks beautiful. So, yeah, guys, let's go into today's Shop My Stash. I hope I didn't bore you too much. I just want to go over some of the bigger products that I use because, obviously, I want you guys to know that they're working well together. Oh, one thing I did want to say is the Cover Effects, um, their mineral powder and the Fenty was great. I really love the coverage of that because I do have, you know, some acne that I need to address in this area. Anyway, guys, let's go into Shop My Stash, as I said, and yeah, then we will do the I'm going to go straight into Shop My Stash and, um, okay, I have a plan for this week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do eyeshadows right away. I know I do it later, but we're going to do it right freaking now. Because I want to bring out all of my Juvia's Place palettes. Because next week, I am going to do a full swatches review on every single... I'm trying to get this one underneath here. I have the larger Magic palette. They're actually coming out with a mini. I guess these aren't as popular. Like, honestly, the pan size is freaking huge so you would never use this amount of eyeshadow but yeah they're coming out with a mini and I also have the mini masquerade palette I have the Saharan there we go and it's like a super gloomy day out today so that'll be fun for my filming anyway then there's the Zulu palette and the Nubian 2 and I am just going to mishmash these palettes all this week. I've used every single one of them. And I think I've talked about the Magic palette. I think I've done a review on that one. I don't think I have done anything on all, any of the other ones. But I want to do just a full swatch fest review on what I think of all of these. And honestly, um, I've done swatches on my Instagram. So you know, like, I've really talked about them all, but I just want to do a full review swatch fest for people that, you know, want to see a ton of Juvia's Place swatches. So that's what we're doing for eyeshadows this week. This drawer is a mess. Like, I really need to go through this. As I said, like, with the no-buy, it's getting insane. Like, there's so much in here, and there's no room for anything, and that's why I bought another freaking thing here and it's already full like okay anyway so uh for powder I want to do my project pan and see that's what I end up doing pretty much every single time because I'm like oh you know I've got too much stuff I want to use the stuff up that's just in there I'm gonna pull in the wet and wild I'm gonna try not to use too much base products this week 
and it's just because I've been breaking out on my cheeks a lot so I want to go almost foundation free for a week and see how my skin looks after that um do I want to pull in any of this stuff oh you know what I want let's bring these out these are that mini set of all the benefit products and well, after I watched Beauty News, I was like, hmm, there are a few of them that are not the like the right formula, but I'm going to throw in this blush. This is the California. It's just, it is a pretty blush, and it's more pigmented than some of them. I'm going to throw in the Hoola Light, and I'm going to throw in Dandelion, because apparently this can be a setting product for your eyes. It's like a really, really light, oops light peach color but it does have some pigment I don't know anyway I looked it up and it is supposed to be a setting powder like with the packaging and everything which is odd anyways so we'll throw in those like blushes and stuff like that for foundations which is what I'm trying to kind of avoid this week I'm just gonna take this one this one is so light this is the Garnier skin renew BB cream I'm gonna try not to use this as much as I can but it's kind of hard to wear foundation every single day and then not wear it at all. I just feel naked. So we're also going to pull in this Wet n Wild Cushion Corrector because it's actually pretty good at covering blemishes. And I was thinking, well, maybe I could just throw that on. We'll see. Hmm. Do I even... I'm thinking to myself, should I even grab, you know what, I'm going to take this, the Laura Mercier um, Hydrating. It has, you know, ni like, somewhat nice stuff in it. The ingredients are, like, super amazing, but I just don't want anything too heavy or, like, pore filling. I want to get away from pore fillers just because I don't know if that's what's causing so many breakouts. Alright, so what have we got here? We need some brow products. Um, ooh, I'm... I'm tempted, yeah, I'm going to throw this in. This is the Kat Von D Brow Struck. This is really good, but I don't fill in my brows with this. It's a little difficult, but it makes the most natural little hair strokes I've ever freaking seen. So, this one. These are from, this is a Quo brand. It's like a Canadian brand. I'm going to use this to fill them in. And, you know what, I think that's like all I will need this week yeah you know what that's it because this does such a good job of like you know really making your brows just look kind of cohesive and even oh, shall we go into the drawer you know what no liquid highlighters this week because I don't want to put extra stuff on my face again and ooh, you know what is a good highlighter for this kind of week where is that I am missing oh shit anyways before my box literally just exploded I was looking for where did I see it the ah the essence pure nude highlighter that will be perfect for this week because it's just like a a nice glow it's not like super crazy looks like metallic on your face type of deal mascaras I want to do a mascara review so badly, but I just have so many. Look at this, guys. Like, look. I'm going to look at this. There's so many minis in here, and I just don't know if they're, like, a good representation of the actual mascara. These are all the ones that I have not opened yet. There's like, um, let's see here, Monsieur Big, there is Dior Show, there is a little Sephora one, a Makeup Forever one, there is a Clinique one. These are all sitting back here because I have like this problem. This is all open. So yeah, tell me, would you guys like a review on all, I have so many minis. I have a few fuller sizes too, like I have the Better Than Sex that I haven't opened yet, I have a Roller Lash. So, let me know if you'd like a, I don't know, uh, like maybe I'll just do what the minis are like. That might actually be a cool video. Anyway, 
All right, guys, I think this is about it for this week. Not a huge, like, haul of stuff. There are quite a few things that I'm going to keep, but I am obviously discussing that in the intro of this video. So, anyway, thanks, guys, and uh, let's go to future Melissa. What do you think that is? Hmm? What do you think that is? Oh, look at the kitty. Look at the kitty. Oh, so cute. <gasps> what was that? What was that? <gasps> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching my shop, my stash. I hope you guys had a wonderful day time and yeah I am just rushing to do a five the five oh my goodness I am just really excited to do the five palette one look so that's going to be the video I film right after this I hope you guys enjoyed this and yeah I hope you guys subscribe to my channel check my Instagram out I do a look of the day every single day and yeah have a good day night evening whatever bye I almost dropped that the whole fucking box. <laughs> I can cut whatever I want out, but I'm definitely going to leave a little bit of that in. And...